Hey everyone, today we're looking at three flashlights. The requirements are they have to attach to M-Lock, have momentary and constant on, and they have to be about $40 or less. This first light is a Feiachi FL14, claims to be 1200 lumens. There are other models with different attachment methods. This guy really comes with a lot. It comes with two 18650 batteries, a charger, the ring mount, the pressure switch, and extra M-Lock screws. Next we have this Votatu ML40. Has a high mode of 1450 lumens, a low mode of 550 lumens, and a strobe. It has a built-in battery. It's charged with a USB magnetic charger. Cable comes with it takes three M-Lock slots to attach this guy. Finally, we have this Defentac, 1600 lumens, uses the same magnetic charger, it looks exactly the same. Uh, it also has a strobe mode. It looks like it takes one M-Lock slot, but it really needs two. I'll show you that later. Let's get the weight for these guys. The Feiachi with all its stuff is eight and a half ounces. The Votatu is 4.3 ounces. And the Defentac is three ounces even. All right, we're gonna do some indoor flashlight testing. This is just the distance across the bedroom. So it's about 12 feet to the door there. First is the Feiachi, and I did turn off the uh, auto exposure on the camera, but you can see it's still adjusting a little bit. Um, pretty bright, definitely going to dazzle you if you get this in your eyes. Next up is the Votatu. This is the low setting. This is the bright setting. The bright setting, uh, let's compare to the Feiachi. Can you see this is the Votatu, this is the Feiachi. Uh, the Votatu is brighter. Uh, the the hotspots are about the same size. All right. Last is the Defentac. And uh, this one has a bigger hot spot. It's also bluer in color, I think. And let's compare to the Votatu. See, it's a little more concentrated hot spot on the Votatu. It's a whiter color. Um, I'd say overall, these two are about the same brightness, except the brighter hot spot uh, makes it look a little hotter a little brighter just right where the hotspot is. All right, we're gonna do our nighttime testing outdoors. That fence in the distance is about 100 feet away. First, we're going to use our Feiachi. Here we go. Oh. All right. Next up is the Votatu. This is in high mode. Here's low, high. And finally, we have our Defentec. Don't really see a hot spot with this one, it's more of all spill. For contrast, again, here's the Votatu. And the Feiachi. I thought I would do a bit of a burn-in test here. Uh, I was worried about overheating, especially with these being cheaper flashlights. A good flashlight will reduce or shut off its light output in the event of excessive heat, but during this three-minute run test there was no loss of light output and the temperatures only got slightly warm. Um, just reaching 80 to 90 degrees for each of the lights. Um, yeah, you can feel just a little bit of warmth, but it's certainly nothing excessive. All right, 
Now I'm going to show you how these things mount up, starting with the Feiachi. Now you notice I'm putting it on the right side of the rifle. That's because I'm right-handed, and uh, I don't want a bunch of crap on the left side of the rifle. It just gets in the way, especially when you're using your sling. Now that does have some drawbacks, because when you're holding the rifle, you want to activate the flashlight with your left hand. Uh, if this was mounted on the left, you could just use the tail cap switch, which does come with it. Otherwise, the alternative is this tape switch, um, which does have some drawbacks, obviously. You've got this wire, which is a huge weak point, and you've got to deal with it somehow. Um, by the way, M-Lock here, one of the little annoying things about it sometimes is... Uh, those nuts will just kind of twist around as you're trying to tighten, and you've got to hold the nut with something while you're putting it on. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but kind of annoying sometimes. All right, now, as I was saying, I've got this wire I've got to deal with. I'm using these clips to attach it to the Picatinny rail. Uh, you could use Velcro or something, but you do want to control this wire somehow. Now mounted like this, we activate the flashlight. You can see there's just a little bit of barrel shadow there. It's not a problem. You do not see it when you're looking through the sights. As for the switch, the longer forward button is the momentary on and the protruding rear button is the constant on. And that forward button has kind of two buttons in it that you can feel. Um, there's no difference between them. Now for the Votatu, you will see it does take three M-Lock sections to attach. And just to save myself some time, I'm just holding it onto the rail. I didn't tighten down the screws. You can see when it's activated, you do get some barrel shadow. Um, that's because this sits very low to the bore, and also it's kind of far back from the end of the barrel. This is a 13-inch handguard on a 16-inch barrel. A uh, 15-inch rail might hide that a little better, but uh, again, you do not see that barrel shadow when you're looking through the sights. As for the switches, your kind of tail cap button there, you just tap it, it's constant on. If you hold it, it's momentary on. The secondary button switches between high and low, and if you double tap that tail cap button, you get a strobe. All right, now the Defentac. Now, it looks like this will fit on one M-Lock section, but really it will not because uh, the nuts will not fit through. You would have to attach the nuts from the other side if you really wanted to use one rail section. Otherwise, you need two. Now, because of its form factor, though, with the M-lock at the rear, you can kind of cantilever it forward like this. Um, and your back button there, you hold it for the momentary on or tap it for constant on. And uh, that forward button there gives you the strobe. Again, a touch of barrel shadow there, but you do not see it looking through the sights. All right, I hope you found the information in this video helpful. I will say, I'm sure there's going to be somebody who comes along and says, Oh, these flashlights are all crap. I would never buy that. Well, I'm not claiming these are going to be equal to a surefire or a cloud rain. They are budget flashlights, but they are flashlights. Flashlights are far from the most complicated electronic we make today, far less complicated than the phone or computer you're probably watching this video on, and they are probably made in the same country. So it is what it is. Um, if you do want to purchase, um, I do have links in the description. They are affiliate links. If you would like to support this channel by sending me a few cents with your purchase, uh, I would much appreciate that. Thanks for watching.